In this video, we'll be learning about discrete and continuous data. And using an example, we're going to try to distinguish the two. So let's say that we're dealing with a bunch of people, and we ask them all for their shoe sizes. And we find that all their shoe sizes are between size 6 and 10. So we could actually draw this on a number line here. And we would have the sizes going from 6, so 7, 8, 9, and 10. And as you probably know, when we buy shoes, we often have intermediate sizes, meaning we could probably buy a, sh a shoe size 6.5, or a 7.5, or an 8.5, or a 9.5. So amongst this bunch of people that we're, whose shoe size we asked for, we can see that there are, there's a finite number of sizes, shoe sizes that we could find. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different sizes. So let's just write that. Nine different sizes. Now, if we were to collect all the data, let's say we had a hundred people and we knew that their shoe sizes was were between 6 and 10, then the data we'd collect here would be discrete data. And the reason for this is because we would know that regardless, despite the fact that we have 100 people, all the shoe sizes would fall in the category from 6 to 10 and they'd all be selected from these nine different values. That's finite data. If, on the other hand, we were to look at, instead of their actual shoe sizes, their, the length of their feet. Now, that may sound a little strange, but let's say that we were to actually measure each and every single individual's foot length. Well, in this case, we may find that someone who wears a sh shoe size 7 probably doesn't actually have a foot whose length is exactly 7. In fact, we'll probably find that it's somewhere like here on the number line. In the same way, someone who's wearing a shoe size 8.5 may well have a foot which, which has a length somewhere like right here on the number line. And we may find another person wearing an 8.5 shoe who's actually right next to that, who's somewhere here on the number line. And we quickly realize that there's actually an infinite number of different sizes between 6 and 10. And that infinite number of values, that would qualify as continuous data. And a way we can try and picture this is we can imagine that amongst all these people we measure the, the feet of, their shoe, their actual, sorry, their foot size or foot length could be any length starting from 6 all the way up to 10. It could be any of these lengths. That's continuous data. In other words, we can actually draw a, a horizontal line covering all the different values it could take, which is perfectly continuous. On the other hand, when we look at discrete data, when we ask for these people's shoe sizes, that's discrete because the shoe sizes have to be amongst a finite, have to be chosen amongst a finite list. 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5, 8, 8.5, 9, 9.5 and 10. There's no in between those. Whereas when we're actually measuring the foot length, technically speaking, it could be any of the lengths along that line. That makes it continuous data.